Welcome to Gooseberry Gaming. Today I'm gonna do a video for tips and tricks that I learned while playing and this is not only my knowledge but it's also a lot of my subscribers that help me out to become better at this game, uh, learn all of this stuff before me and let me know. So I'm just sharing what I was shared with so I hope you guys enjoy and I will go over a lot of different things and they might be not in order and kind of random but I really hope this helps and uh, let's get started so first thing first to save the game you need to go to bed if you turn off your game while you're in the middle of the day unfortunately it won't save that's something some people learn the hard way so yeah, there you go. <laughs> also, a good way to make money, especially in the beginning of the game when you are struggling a little bit, is you get a lot of stone. And so what you do is you make some stone stools and you sell them. So it's fairly easy it is available on workbench uh, level one so you could be started doing it already so I get a lot of stone and I'm sure so do you when you mine and there's not a lot of uses for it so what you want to do is make some stone stools and you want to sell them but you have to pay attention when you sell them so let's see, let's see if we're going to be able to sell it today. So today I am selling it because the market price is 116% up. So I have my stone stools right here and what you do is just you press on this hand right there and you go and I earned 2000 goals pretty much for nothing. Also you can sell stuff like um you get from the trees but sometimes they become useful so I would not recommend selling stuff that you're not sure that you will need another thing is um, glass is a very easy way to make money as well but I do prefer stone stools over glass then unfortunately today is not the 27th but you for you to meet mystery man which I know a lot of people want because um, that's where you buy your ring. That's where you can get small engine in the beginning of the game when it's kind of hard to find and, you know, sometimes you struggle. So what you do is you go right here on the 27th of each month to buy that rare item but he's not gonna be here he's gonna show up right here and it's gonna be around 8 a.m. so right here you should be able to meet your mystery man on to our next little tip is um, birthdays so when you become a buddy with the person or associate I'm not sure which one you can go to your calendar and you'll see which person which character when they have their birthday so when they do have their birthday, you get double the points when you give them a gift. You do not have to take them out on a date, you don't have to do anything like that, but it will surely help you build a relationship and um, get some extra points in that way. Um, another thing is, is the arcade. Uh, not a little, not a lot of people know this, uh, but let me show you very quickly. I'm trying to have this video very brief and very short to the point. So, okay. So if we go to arcade, which is located right here, if you guys did not know, I believe everybody knows, but if you didn't, um, it's right here you have badge exchange some of these items are super rare oh my goodness that is chicken eggs like this this just will give you some um interesting um points additional to what you need but stuff like busy farm book uh cooking master 
can be placed in museums. So what is neat about this, you can get good points for it. And uh, not all of these can be placed in the museum. Usually when you press on the item, it can be, it would say, can be placed in museum. Okay, our next thing is you can reset your skill points and I'll show you how. I'm not going to show you how to do it because I have a separate video on that and um, you guys can find it in my playlist. But so if you guys go um, character right here, you have these different skill points you get. Right now I'm maxed out on my mining because this is the most important thing for me right now. In the beginning game, I did not know I I did not know exactly what I wanted to focus on, so I did like a lot of different things, and in the end, I was kind of mediocre. I did not have want any skills maxed out. So, if you did the same and you want to reset it, a good thing to know is you need to be friends with phyllis and you don't have to be friends with phyllis but it helps um it's it's gonna be cheaper for you especially if you're gonna do it um multiple times so if we go to the hospital that's where you need to go to reset your skill points and phyllis has to be in if phyllis is not in um it won't be you won't be able to reset your skills. Uh, what happened before is I went on a date with Phyllis and then I came back, she wasn't here. I wasn't able to reset them. Like she's not here right now. But uh, pretty much you come here and Phyllis will be standing and you do epi puncturing. It'll reset your skills completely. I'm so sorry that Phyllis is not here, uh, but you just know you're gonna have to go to the clinic. Uh, next skill is fishing. Fishing is not that easy in this game. Well, at least for me, I do not enjoy fishing. I don't like it, but there's a way to make it easier on you. If you go again to skill points and you see this skill point right here, it's called Fisherman and your fishing rod tends bar increased by 32%, which trust me, helps a lot. So if you do need the, to catch that Galia fish, this is the skill point you wanna work towards. Then another thing, unfortunately, Ginger gives only one to four points except on her birthday and dates. So, it's actually very annoying to become friends with Ginger, but if you do, um, she has a secret room that you can go into only when you're buddies with her. You know, I'll show you guys. I'm not going to go in there, not to spoil it for anybody, but if you go to Gail's home, this is where she... Um, spends most of her time and I am friends with her so I can go on a play date with her. Another interesting fact about Ginger is she can go on a play date only at night. So right here there's um oh my goodness uh there's this room. I'm not gonna go in I'm not trying to spoil it to you guys. Um it will open up to you only when you become buddies with Ginger. So if you guys working towards that, you know, that's something interesting not a lot of people know of. Another great tip that my subscriber told me is to ride a horse while on a date with Ginger because she walks super duper slow. And that way you won't have to wait for her for hours. Okay, our next thing is going to be our, our workshop. I'm so sorry this is all over the place, but... I'm just trying to cover everything. Okay. So our next thing is a workshop and there we go. Thankfully it's not far. Uh, if you become friends with Mr. Egg, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, um, right here. He can help you with the farm, but you have to become buddies. So what he does, he collects stuff while you're away. 
it's not a super useful task. Oh, and also he cooks for you. Um, it's not a super useful task, but yet it's very nice. Another thing is you can become friends with Pinky, and when you do, Pinky is a stray cat in the game. Uh, she will sleep at your house, she will start the day at your house, and you can also purchase her a bed at Mystery Man's shop. Okay, another thing that I learned the hard way. Organizing in this game was really tough for me, and um, it took me a lot of time to realize how to do it. So right here, I have different color chests for different categories, but what's nifty about it is if you come up, you can see this is fabric and leather. Then the next one is animal remains and more. Uh, how you do that is when you press customize, right here, you can change the name. Let's say, um, import, um, okay, uh, let's say stuff. I'm not sure. That's an empty one. And I can change it to the color of what I need. Um, that's easier to remember. Another thing is um, you can also um, data disk. So when you start the game, you collect data disks while mining. A good thing is no matter what you do or what's your task keep giving discs to Petra when she allows you to to until you start collecting um, research notes so until you start getting these keep giving data discs that means you're gonna be ahead of your um, handbook you won't have to wait long for all of these um, diagrams that's a super useful note until you get those notes keep donating those data disks so another thing and usually it's later um, in the game that you start doing stuff like this is irrigation flooring and this helps you keep track of your plants without you doing too much work. So pretty much you purchase this flooring at church and you purchase this tank at church. And what you do is uh, you put fertilizer in there and it fertilizes the flowers that needs to be fertilized. So you don't have to keep fertilizing your flowers, you can just collect stuff. Another thing that I just learned about this recently, I apologize, um, it's um, this flooring. I forgot the name. Let me go look really quick so you guys can see as well. What's the name? It's um, conductive wooden flooring. So when you make that, and when you're able to make um, um, fire power generator, which I will show you as well in the handbook. So if you can see this. And like I said, this is more for later on in the game. This is the fire power generator. Um, it will um, help you a lot with keeping track of your um, stuff. Like you won't have to use as much as wood because when you fill this up it makes everything else work and uh, like super easy so these are tips and tricks I learned so far um, my tips to you also regarding the tasks and stuff like that sometimes take the smaller tasks but with the stuff that you have that will be easier for you to complete than the big ones and they will tell you, tell, take you weeks upon weeks to complete and it's not going to be worth it in the end. You'll be able to get those little tasks, 300 goals per task uh, money a lot faster than you do one huge uh, power generator or something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you would um, want to add anything to this video. I might do a updated versions with the updates that will be coming out. 
and thank you so much for watching. I will leave my um, playlist in your right corner and uh, subscribe button in your left. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Please like the video. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. I really appreciate you guys watching it and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.